take up a question now geomorphic scale is is a significant factor or a significant determinant in land form development discuss when i say scale what am i referring to time not in terms of size time but also it includes the idea of space also but the main factor here is time here okay geomorphic scale is a significant determinant in land form development okay so the scale word can mean time aspect the scale word can also mean space but the more important one is the time aspect so you start the answer by dekho i hope you realize one thing that some of these questions are such it is not based on knowing some facts these questions can be answered only if you have some element of conceptual clarity on what these terms mean agar wo clarity nahi hai you can't handle these questions okay that's the reason why i am going a bit slow and these type of answers require some descriptive writing and so you start by saying that uh, geomorphic processes are complex there are many factors and importantly the factors operate over a significant length of time in geomorphology the role of time over millions and millions of years was appreciated by davis and before davis we also had gilbert who talked about time but schwam s c h u u m divided the time scale into three types so we had cyclic time we had graded time and we have okay steady state time cyclic time implying and in cyclic time okay if we see land forms there is progressive lowering towards the base level then we have the graded time now graded time is on smaller scales maybe 100 to 1000 years graded time there can be fluctuations graded time is not always progressive lowering and steady state this is more of instantaneous and very short time scales the changes are more sudden episodic the changes operate over certain mean variations okay think of landslides earthquakes so if you look at small scale if you look at the steady state scale of time these are related to sudden episodic changes in cyclic time there is progressive lowering of the landscape this is typical what's called as decay equilibrium in graded time there can be there can be fluctuations over some mean variations there can be fluctuations while that is lowering okay in cyclic time it's a smooth gradual decline this is changes towards entropy maximization in the graded state there are fluctuations and we have the steady state in steady state the changes are sudden and they are episodic in steady state time is a matter of days mein hota hai in days so most the no examples beta this is all about how we model of these three okay what we're saying is study of geomorphic processes can be done on any time scale of convenience like okay, what i'm saying is scale matters if you're looking at the cyclic type of time the big scale may 
the processes are involved in continuous flattening of the slopes if you study geomorphic process at gated time you can have fluctuations which you can record fluctuations which are relatively continuous in steady state the fluctuations along with periods of quiet no change the question is of these three which is right the answer is that in these three all the three are right it all depends on how you want to study it is like fast you okay does your height change as it all depends on time scale if you looking at time scale of 70 50 years yes it does change and ultimately becomes steady if you look at matter of days my height yesterday and my height today the height of my son okay in matter of minutes then probably i won't see any change at all okay so so in in the study of geomorphic processes in the study of geomorphic processes time scale matters on the issue of convenience what is our convenience of study so davis model was abstraction at the level of cyclic time ye bhi theek hai long term mein whereas modern geomorphology this study is mostly in the steady state time scale or steady okay time scale studies at micro scales it studies at smaller time scales okay so scales are important okay so whatever we study the scales are important but which is the best one davis said we can study in terms of minutes of years whereas modern geomorphology says we can study at the steady state or maybe even at the graded state at micro time scale and at smaller time scales the modern approach steady state studies is more to do with mathematical modeling for better predictive models so scale does matter in scale there is no surety as to which is the best these are three approaches of scale the cyclic time scale the graded time scale and the steady time scale there is an example of cyclic time scale but modern geomorphology it has moved towards more prediction more precision more micro scale more mathematical modeling for planning that's why this approach this approach of a okay, small time scale it has more applied significance page number 45 okay is across four five pages so i think as an answer our discussion is enough but if you want some other additions you can do so from the next book okay so my my effort here is to give you a kind of okay answer format ki kiske baad kya likhenge describe it the answer is done okay then take care of yourself do revise the topic so that you can like easily understand and relate eventually theek okay. hai okay bye bye